The Stars Orders qualifiers are next. It's the Hurdle first. Two miles, six and a half furlongs, 0 to 120. Ted Arlo, Darren Thompson, Bookshot, Daniel French, Neve Campbell, Matt Cooper, Jimmy Hatz, Alex Cherry, About Me, James Shea, Control Freak, Graham Clutterbuck, Thunder Rosa, Matt Cooper, and Midway Figure, Alex Cherry. A field of just eight in this, and away they go. They had some small fields this week, and four qualifiers, so it's about half the field could get through to the final of this one. And it's Neve Campbell, who's going into the lead. Matt Cooper having a great day three so far. And Ten Arlo, Jimmy Hatz. Got this justice race and the chase qualifier for me. And then we'll be over to Grey with the Hunters. And the Hunters take on a whole new meaning this week, don't they? Where they're in race to 110. So they've got some big fields and some trainers in that don't normally get in some trainers in that used to get in that don't get in and also they'll be some you'll be surprised to see one or two of the names in there i think and one or two of the horses that have got in as well so some of the biggest some of the bigger fields of the week are probably going to be in those hunters this week so they've gone from one extreme to the other but anyway we're on the starters orders qualifier at the moment on the chase to come this is the hurdle and neve campbell He's five lengths clear of a pair of greys, Ten Arlo and Jimmy Hatz. In Thunder Rose, the stable companion of the leader, is in fourth. His control freak bookshot, midway figure, and about me, making up the field at the back. So they're inside the, well, not quite inside the final two miles. They take that flight there, which is a third of the 11. And now we'll be heading inside the final two miles. Neve Campbell clear in front from stable companion Thunder Rosa in second. In the greys, Jimmy Hatz and Ten Arlo as they take the fourth. With Bookshot after that one, then about me in the green on the outside. With Control Freak and finally the second Alex Cherry horse, this one in the blue cap, the orange sleeves, midway figure. They get over the fifth. Not past the car park, past the stand shortly. The warning post, that flight they've just taken will be the final flight next time round. And Neve Campbell is in the lead from Thunder Rosa in second. Jimmy Hatch just third, ahead of Ten Arlo. In control freak, midway figure. Buckshot and finally about me. Just the back marker of the eight as they race downhill and away from the stand and heading towards the next flight. Neve Campbell in the lead still. From Thunder Rosa and Ten Arlo. Now a clear third ahead of Jimmy Hatz and stable companion Midway Figure moving up along the outside of that one. Control Freak on the inside. Shot in the back, maybe the back two. They're racing down the back straight now then with Neve Campbell. Three lengths to the good. Thunder Rosa and Ten Arlo. Flight six, They're all safely over that one. Lead now down to just over two lengths. Neve Campbell from Thunder Rosa, Ten Arlo on the inside, going well in third. Then Midway Figures move well nicely into fourth. With control freak Jimmy Hatch just drop back a little bit, then Bookshot and About Me racing together at the back, but no more than eight lengths off the lead. And that lead is held by Neve Campbell. And the lead is just a length now. From Thunder Rosa and Ten Arlo. Midway figure two lengths back in fourth as they get over the seventh. And there, Neve Campbell continuing to lead. Thunder Rosa on the outside. Ten Arlo looks to be going exceptionally well. That one on the leader made a mistake there. Neve Campbell, and that's allowed Thunder Rosa to go on. Neve Campbell's now been pulled around the outside of. Neve Campbell in third, then comes Control Freak, Medway figures after that, Jimmy Hatt's next, about me trying to get into it, Bookshot is going to try and go up the inside, and it's Thunder Rosa and Neve Campbell still from Ten Arlo, then on the wide outside, Midway figure is now starting to motor, also Control Freak is cruising into it, but he's going to need a split, got nowhere to go at the moment, Jimmy Hatt's now trying to come back into it, Bookshot too, then about me, there's nothing out of this yet, as they come down towards the final three, and now on the wide outside, Jimmy Hatt's is going to take off in the Jimmy Hatz from 
Tiernalo and then Neve Campbell on the near side getting back into it again. Thunder Rosa is still there, but it's now Tiernalo who's gone on. Tiernalo coming down to the second last leads by about a length to Jimmy Hatch. Thunder Rosa and Neve Campbell over the second last. Tiernalo in front. Jimmy Hatch chasing hard in second. Tiernalo looks to be going well in the lead, though he's gone two lengths clear. Tiernalo from Jimmy Hatch as they come down to the final flight. Tiernalo skips over in the lead, gets away from it well, jumps it really well in fact, and he's now two lengths clear of Jimmy Hatch who's trying to close in second. There's still a furlong to go, but Jimmy Hatz looks to be a, a bit of a forlorn challenge, but now he's starting to pick up on the outside. Tenalo treading water. Tenalo needs a line to come. Here comes Jimmy Hatz. Tenalo and Jimmy Hatz. It's got to be close. Jimmy Hatz has just got up, I think. I think Jimmy Hatz just got up. Did the Hatz take it by a head? It looked like Tenalo had got that sewn up. Jimmy Hatz, though, eating the ground up. And I think he's got up. Jimmy Hatz. Indeed, he has Jimmy Hatz for Alex Cherry. Wins it by a head. Stick your head in a hat and you can't go wrong. Tenalo second for Darren Thompson. Thunder Rosa, Matt Cooper third. Bookshot for Daniel French fourth. And about me was fifth. <laughs>